a what's up my YouTube gamers my name is Ben and I am the real size 6 bringing you a video on how to upgrade your ship inventory first up come find one of these beacons as usual and you're gonna look for transmission now more specifically you're looking for transmission towers you're gonna select transmission and you're looking for a transmission tower just like here and use as many bypass chips you want to to locate nearby transmission towers I did it a couple times to find two uh, another good way to do it is just to go to the whatever they give you and use another beacon there and locate another transmission tower but here we got two transmission towers and I think a crash ship or two so you go and get in your ship and Another way to find transmission towers is to look at the building itself. All transmission towers look the same, uh, according to race, of course. Uh, each race has different architecture, but all transmission towers look the same, and you can spot them from the air if you just look around and pay attention. And all transmission towers, like this one here, has a spire on it, on the building, like that. And that, that's a Corvax transmission tower. And so you can just spot them from the air, like so. Like there's that one there. And this one here. Coming up. So, whether just finding them through the beacons or spotting them from the air, uh, locate your transmission tower and we are looking for crashed ships. And if you were like me, wondering how to upgrade your inventory on your ship, uh, if it was even possible, um outside of having the money to buy the ship uh, save yourself some money and time uh, it's a lot quicker to do this once you understand the method go in the building do the math prop solve the math problem and find crash ships and know if you're in a GEC transmission tower you can use the t uh, transmission towers terminal over and over and over up to like 10 to 12 crash sites so uh, that will really streamline this process once you locate your crash ship, uh, head over to it, and also note here I just got a journey milestone uh, for spending my 32 souls in extreme conditions, which got me the gold uh, trophy for extreme survival. Note, this is uh, something to do while you're surviving on an extreme planet, and note on the extreme planets you have to do your time all on one planet, so why not upgrade your ship? Uh, in the process of spending your time instead of just bunkering down in a bunker. Anyways, head over to your crash ship, and um, it does not take much to get them to fly. Uh, now, you want to look at your crash ship, and if it has one more inventory slot than your ship, take it. I was flying around looking for crash ships thinking I was just going to automatically find a 30 slot or a 48 slot. Or that's not going to happen. You incrementally up it one slot every time uh, you upgrade your ship. Doesn't matter what the ship looks like. Just wait until uh, 47 or 48 slots. Then worry about uh, the looks of your ship. But snag any ship that has um, one more slot than yours. And note, switching items over... To the other ship you can just hold triangle and then scroll over the items you want to send over that was uh something i figured out nifty little trick and now here on the crash ship you do not need much materials to make these fly all you need to do is repair the landing gear if it needs repairing which is just four karite sheets and then you just need the pulse engine which is uh heridium Thamium and karate sheets, I think, or something like that. It's it's all easy materials. Oh, zinc, I think. Uh, it's all easy materials that you can get, should be able to get, no problem. And then if you want the alarm on your ship to uh, not be going off like it is going to be here in a second, you're going to want to grab some iron. Make sure you have a nice supply of iron so you can make all those karate sheets, because you're going to need three karate sheets plus some heridium to repair the uh, shield, so your alarm starts going off but you only need to repair again the launch thrusters and the pulse engine just to get in the air so uh, just bring yourself some uh, iron and you should be good on that uh, let me see make sure I hit on everything 
uh, the inventory. You can just hold triangle. Um, make sure the ship has one more inventory slot, and you just keep doing that over and over and over, all the way up to 48 slots. And be sure to do this on an extreme survival. You can knock out uh, your extreme survival trophy while while doing this. It's a uh, it's because this process does take some time, and I was doing the bunker thing, just bunkering down, and then I realized um, you can go out, and you make sure you have your protective gear on, you can go out, and as long as you're doing all your time on one planet, do not break the atmosphere, otherwise it will stop the extreme survival uh, timer. You cannot break the atmosphere, you must stay within the atmosphere of the planet, and uh, just do that. Focus your time on uh, upgrading your ship, and by the time your time's done, you should be able to have your survival trophy and 48 inventory slots. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.